Hi, I'm Aaron, and this is Andrew. Hi, and this is Rugrats and Rooks. Today we're doing a special edition where I'm going to be blindfolded, and Andrew's going to help me. Okay, so night after the night to see six. Night B eight C six. So, in this is this could be lead into an Italian game or a Rui Lopez, and some Italian games lead into the fried liver. Ah, uh, Bishop D three. He played Bishop to D three. That's weird. Well, anyway, what Bishop to C five. You can't do that. Bishop F eight to C five. Oh. <laughs> so I wonder what he'll do next. In he, Bishop D three is a bad move because blocks in his bishop on D three. Mm -hmm. And and it bishop mm. at, and well it blocks in the pawn on d two playing bishop to d three and if he plays bishop c four and what did he do I heard something ah uh, he played b four b four well knight takes no bishop takes c six no no bishop takes b four. There is a open a gambit called the Evans Gambit, where Black does this exact same thing. C three. Where White does the exact same thing. Bishop C five. And tries to get a big center by playing D four after Black plays Bishop C five, but he played Bishop to D three. And other times White could try knight takes e5, but that wouldn't work here because as the center trick doesn't, the center fork trick doesn't work. Anyway, did he do something yet, Andrew? He castled. Castled? Castle. Can't. Okay, then play knight to f6. Okay. Okay. So, in this line, I think I'm doing good because as I've won a pawn, and even though he may have, and though even though he's castled earlier than me, I can castle the next move. Knight at h four. Knight to h four. Oh, hi, Fino. So, in the oh, knight h four looks weird. I think he may be trying to play knight to f five, knight h four f five on the next move. Knight h four f five, like that, audience. And but then I'd play d six, e six, and that would unleash my bishop up to attack it. Well, a three, a three. Well, play d six. Okay. Anyway, just like we were talking. <laughs> so in. I'm not sure what he will do next. He could play knight to f3 back again, but he wastes a lot of tempos. Bishop to b2. Bishop b2 oh, is yeah. Bishop. is not helping his 
dark square bishop because of the c3 pawn. And the bishop on d3 is also not doing good. c3 pawn over here. And mm, he played what? Uh, c4. Going. Well, what a for is uh, dark square bishop. Yes, so play bishop to e6. And even and if he does play bishop to b2 now, the uh, bishop e6, and even if he does play bishop b2 now, now the pawn on e5 is in the way. A. And their only square available, more available to him now to him now is c3 which doesn't do him any good because d4 is controlled g3 them. g3 protecting the knight weird anyway queen to d7 d8 d7 dog 7 anyway So what is he going to do? He could he made a he made a weakness on his light squared complex playing g3 and now um, a bunch of his pawns are in dark squares which around his king that is. Yeah. So uh, oh the, uh, so if we can and just get a tick of a light an attack on the white square as his color weakness is going to be a real big problem. Mm hmm. That's why I we play... can get a good start by, by playing That's bishop why... up to h3, attacking the rook. Um, that's why I. What did he do? Uh, Queen e1. Well, knight to d4 looks good. Knight c6 d4. Knight c6 to d4, I know. Okay. Hey, is some of you might have thought of bishop to d4, or but bishop, but rook to a3, or even better, knight to c3. Rook to a2 or knight to c3 would... F4. F4. He blundered, didn't he? Wow. Knight to c2! He just blundered his queen! Knight to c2, yeah! It's oh. a discovered check. Discovered then check. He messed... Oops. It's the discovered check of the bishop and the knight. I the bishop is checking the king, king, ing, and the knight. I moves. The, the bishop was staring at the king, and the knight jumped out of the way, so he was checking the king. But the knight is also attacking the queen on e one, so it's winning. It, we he you. Some it's of also you attacking. Might, some of you might have seen the rook on a one, but the queen in is more important. Yes, the at uh, the rook on a one is also good. It, it could uh, and 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 there is a way, a thing that would make a the rook on a one important. If white decided not to move his king or rook and played queen to f two, then I'd take with the bishop, and then. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, play. So we... He played queen to f2. Can we take it? Yes, take it. And so this is what I was talking about. After he takes back, take on a1, and we're up a... 
up a lot. I did take on A1, Aaron. That's good. Let's, um, Bishop B2. Bishop to B2. He might, I try, I to get it or knight. Well, can't we just go knight to B3 and get it back to the great outpost? Oh, sure, sure. And then after we get it to the outpost, it's pretty much invincible there. Because with the bishop on B2, what did he do? F, X, E, 5. Then take back with the D6 pawn. <laughs> now, now, as I was saying, the knight is pretty much invincible on D4. Even though the bishop is on B2. Oh, because if he takes, that's just helping me trading. And if he doesn't take, I have a, a wonderful knight. Anyway, he played bishop to c2. Knight to d e4. That's what I was thinking you would say. Okay, well, okay. So, it's a good thing that knight has an anchor. That's a pawn. Yeah. Two anchors, in fact. Yeah, the pawn on e5 and the pawn on... And the queen on d7. Ooh, a knight c3. Knight to c3. Take on c2. Take c2. Donk ba donk ba donk. That was a mistake. And some of you might have been thinking about this discovered attack. But then we just move over our knight back to the outpost. Yeah. Hmm. What did he do? He played rook f1. Yeah. Rook, knight to a d4. Knight, d4. Do, 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 do. The knight on c3 is blocking the bishop from trading off anyway. Ooh, uh, knight f3. Knight to f3. Okay, so there's a knight on c3. Play. Play bishop to h3. Yeah. Bishop e6 h3. Whew. Well, we're up a minute. Thanks for telling me the time. What is the time? We're up a minute, but what's his time in our time? He, he, his time is two four, a uh, two forty. Yeah, he played rook f two, and our time is in the three minutes. Let's see here. What, oh, oh, what uh, should I play? He played rook f2, so that you remember. Okay. Can. Queen to c6? Doesn't blunder my queen, right? Queen to c6. Let me take a look. No, it doesn't. Can go, I'll go ahead and play it. And do it. Now. I'm, I could, would think about something like knight takes a f three and after rook, rook takes f three, knight takes e four, looks pretty good. What did he play? He played a n x e five. Play queen to d6. Queen d6. Oh. 
Okay. Knight f3. Take it. And d4, x3. D4. Rook takes f3. Yeah. That's what I was expecting since it was the only move that made. Anyway. Andrew, I didn't say knight takes e4. I blundered. Well, that's Rook good. E3. He didn't take it from the sound of it. Knight takes d2. Knight takes d2. That's a close one. So we only have a rook, bishop, and knight, right? Yep, and a few pawns. Bishop c1. The c4 pawn looks hanging. Knight takes c4. Four. It's a fork, audience. Take... Well, rookie four. Take on a three. Yeah. That trade. If B takes C one, Queen takes a. Th if B C one takes a three then queen takes a three well uh rook, rook h4 played rook to h4 i'll find the number correct play queen to d1 queen to d looks like the king thought it was a very good move King F2. That's the only move. Let me see. I think... Queen to F1. Queen F1. <laughs> it's so funny when the king jumps. When he moves his king to the E file, I am planning... Play rook, no, play rook um, f to e8. How did you know what he played? Rook f e8. Oh. Well, that was the only legal move. Hmm. Now, what will he do? Now, play rook a d8. A. And then after rook to d4, rook takes d4 checkmate. There's a knight on a3, a rook on h4, bishop on h3, two rooks there. <laughs> Look at his time go down. Yeah, looks like he's just going to wait for his time to go down. There's nothing else he can do. Well, oh, except for well, knight, knight take d five. I he played. Yeah, that's the only other. Take it with the rook. <laughs> Yeah, he resigned, Iran. Okay, thanks for watching Drug Rats and Rooks. Bye. Thanks for watching Drug Rats and Rooks. Goodbye.